Hey folks, it's Dave here, back in Studio C, and it's time for the 1979-80 Stanley Cup Final. Yep, the cup is in the house, Phil is in the house, and we are ready to go. We are using Downey's final score of hockey for this project as we are down to the final two teams. Let's see how the semifinals went. A quick recap. It was Philadelphia over Boston. They got an OT win at game two in Philadelphia and then a big OT win on the road in Boston and that clinched the series four games to two. Buffalo, the second seed, defeated Montreal in six games. They got a home win in overtime in game one. And another overtime win here in Game 5. And then a convincing 3-1 to one win to take the series in Montreal as they take it four games to two. But right now, it's the top two teams advancing to the finals. It's Philadelphia and Buffalo. Best of seven for the Stanley Cup here in my replay. Buffalo is the road team, so they will roll first here. As we look to the chart and we look for... For a chart, J on the road for the Sabres. So let's get things going. Oh, a 66. Oh, my. That is seven goals on the road here in Philadelphia. Oh, boy. The fly is going to be hard-pressed here in game one. And Oh, a 63. Wow. 63 is good enough. Oh, for five goals. And they fall short, despite the good offensive effort, they fall short. And Buffalo steals Game 1 in Philadelphia here in the Stanley Cup Finals. Game 2, back at the Spectrum. A much different story this time in Road J. It is a 41. That is good enough. Whoa! Knocking over the Spectrum here for three goals by the Sabres. The Flyers, can they even the series? A 66, oh yeah, a 66 in row K, and that is eight goals. So a lot of scoring here in the cup finals as the series is tied. One game to one, going back to the odd in Buffalo. So the Flyers rolling off of column I this time. That's a 44, column I with a 44. That is good enough for three goals. Not too bad on the road. How are the Sabres going to do? How are they going to respond here in Game 3? A 44 of their own on column N. And that's a big game. We go to our big game chart. So hold the phone. We go to our big game chart. And it's a 25. Oh, boy. We minus 4. So it was not a good game. So 1, 2, 3. So we go back to column J. And it's a 43 on column J. And that is three goals. So they rolled a big game, but they went backwards. So we go to overtime. So Buffalo, 42 or better in overtime. They will get the first roll. It is a 12. No, it's the Flyers with it in overtime. Trying to get a scoring chance. 26 does not do it. Buffalo bringing the puck back up the ice. 23, no go. The Flyers with a chance in overtime. A 10 whatever, no, that doesn't do it. Buffalo with the puck now. A 23, no, overtime continues here at the odd. The Flyers with a 53. They take the shot. Can Sove make the save? No, a 30-something does not make the save. And the Flyers, an OT win here in Game 3 in Buffalo. And boy, I tell you, they had the big game roll, but they got a minus on it. And that's what killed the Sabres. They had a bad game. Game four back in Buffalo as the Flyers get the home ice back. And it's a 21 for Philadelphia on column I. A 21 is not very good. That's good for a pair of goals here in game four. The Sabres now. They roll a 34 in column N. That is good enough for three goals. So the Flyers with a pressure roll of 53. They got to see they got the goalie on the bench. Peters goes to the bench. And that is a 16 and no. And so Buffalo takes this one three to two. Buffalo wins. And the series is tied at two games apiece. Each team winning a game on the road. So we're back to the spectrum. 
for game five. The cup has not shown up yet, folks. The save is off of column J. 33, a medium roll. Good enough for three goals on Peters. What kind of game did Sobe have? A terrific game. A 13 from column K is good for one goal. And Buffalo takes this one on the road, and they lead the series three games to two. So the cup is in the house just saying here at buffalo in game six could this be buffalo's first cup well i, I know i got some buffalo fans that are gonna love this so here we go the fly is rolling first off of column i oh fantastic game though 54 that's four goals for the flyers they are not going away quietly they want to go back to game seven at the spectrum buffalo a decisive advantage though, rolling off a much higher column. They need a good middle to high roll. It's a 24. It's only good for three goals. Buffalo potentially blowing this at home. Sove on the bench. A pressure roll of 55. And they get it. They get the chance. Can Peters make the game saving save? And he does not. So we go to overtime. So the pressure roll comes through in Buffalo. And they go to overtime with a chance to win the cup in overtime. Here we go, folks. Buffalo rolls first. An overtime roll of 42. The cup is on the line. No, it's a one whatever. That's not going to do it. The Flyers now trying to force game seven. A 54. The shot's on net. Sove needs a 42. Or we go to game seven. He makes the save. Sove makes the save. And the game is, continues on. It's Buffalo now with a chance to take the cup. A 52. It's a scoring chance. Peters, a 51 or better, or the cup goes to Buffalo. Peters can't make the save. The Sabres in overtime win the cup. The Buffalo Sabres are the cup champions. The Buffalo Sabres. We're going to put it right here over the Flyers logo. The Buffalo Sabres are your champion. It's an overtime winner, 5-4. to four. They get the pressure roll late to tie it. And then overtime, they win it in dramatic fashion. And the Sabres taking game one in Philadelphia. Then they lose two, but they come back with three straight wins at home in Philly. And then in game six here, and in a turn of events, the Buffalo Sabres are your Stanley Cup champions in my playthrough so once again thanks everybody that tuned in for my project here as again we use downey's final score for this as we played out the 1979 80 playoffs and the buffalo sabers are our champions and uh in full disclosure I, I i made a couple of mistakes along the way as i'm learning this game here so anybody that's an expert in this game if you go back and see something that made a mistake uh yeah i think i might have here and there but i think the outcomes were the same but there was a couple of numbers that might have been off on pressure rolls and over t ot o over the course of this project here um, i noticed i did notice one mistake anyway but it didn't have any effect on anything so anyway so not to take anything away from the savers here but they uh they win here on my replay so thanks for tuning in everybody hope you enjoyed this replay and i hope to have more coming here on some of these quick play games so once again it's the buffalo sabers your stanley cup champion as they take the series four to two from the flyers in dramatic fashion with a five to four ot win at home i'm dave everybody thanks for tuning in have a great day